Let's look at real estate stocks. Real estate stocks uh, holding on. DB Realty, Kodaj Properties, there is price action in Anantraj Industries. And uh, Unitech uh, once again is moving up on strong volumes. Uh, real estate stocks are making a comeback and the reason why real estate stocks are making a comeback is because market men are of the view that some A quality or good quality real estate companies are bear market survivors, they've not damaged their balance sheet and whenever the cycle will reverse, some of the real estate stocks uh, could really create immense amount of wealth. So on that note, perfect time now to bring on board Firusha Godrej, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Godrej Properties. Firusha, good morning. Thank you for joining us. This is Nikunj Talmia from the Mumbai studio. First, let's start, talk about the dynamics of the real estate sector. If I look at uh, various uh, data points, one is getting a sense that the real estate demand has come down, but prices are still holding on. Great to be with you, Nikunj. I think uh, you know, what you just laid out is actually correct. Over about the last year, what we have seen from the data around the country suggests that prices have in fact moved up in almost every market. I think by obviously by deferring amounts, in various markets, while volumes on a year-on-year -year basis have come down. And clearly, I think that's not a very healthy situation uh, for the sector. I don't think that's either good for real estate developers. It's certainly not good uh, for customers or the economy as a whole. So I think what, what we should hope to see over this year and what I'm optimistic that will happen this year is once, once interest rates start coming down, once GDP growth recovers, and once consumer confidence comes back, I do think uh, real estate volumes will pick up. We've seen it time and time again. It is a cyclical sector, but we do expect to have a much stronger year for the sector as a whole from a volume perspective in 2013. Piroj Sahai, morning. One of the concerns that analysts have is that operating cash flows for Godrich properties remains negative and debt could rise again in FY13 if there are delays in the stake sale of the BKC project. Uh, are these valid concerns according to you? Aisha, well, certainly, you know, I think operating cash flow is an important metric. I think it's one that analysts are rightly focused on for the sector as a whole. It's certainly one we are looking strongly at uh, within Godrich Properties. That said, we had a strongly operating cash flow positive quarter in, the, in Q2 of this financial year. We are confident that we will be able to replicate that. Um, in the coming quarters, our BKC project that you mentioned is very close to now being launched and we do hope to unlock um, some cash flow from that. We've, we've also got a large commercial project in Vikroli called Godridge One, which we have been monetizing on a quarter by quarter basis and has been creating cash flow. We're similarly looking at doing uh, that across our commercial portfolio. So we feel very confident about uh, being able to sustain that growth. And I think our balance sheet now has already been substantially strengthened. In March, we did India's first ever institutional placement program. So our gearing level over the course of calendar 2012 has reduced from two is to one to currently about one is to one, which we think is a very comfortable level for the company. Right, but Pirocha, when is the first installment of sales from the BKC project uh, likely to flow into the company's books? Well, you know, from a cash flow perspective, we think that's imminent. Uh, we are at the final stages of getting approval for the project, and hopefully in a matter of weeks we'll, be, we'll have launched the project. Uh, from a P&L perspective, of course, since we, like many real estate developers, follow the percentage completion accounting method, it will take a few quarters for that project to be visible on the P&L because we will have to have sold 25% of the project and we will also have to complete 25% of the construction on the project. We still have a full quarter left for FI13. So FI13, can you give, broadly give me a sense on to, as to how much million square feet of sales you will be able to generate? You know, we don't, uh, you couldn't give any specific guidance as to those kind of numbers, but I think what I can say is that we think uh, FY 2013 is going to turn out to be a fantastic year for us, uh, especially from a bookings perspective. For the half year uh, gone by, we've increased our area sold by about 100%. We've increased our booking value by more than 200%. And I think even in this quarter, we've had several very successful launches. Our project, Godridge Electronic City, uh, which is a project we have in, in Bangalore, has seen volumes of over 300,000 square feet in a single month. Here in Bombay, we've launched the third phase of our Vikroli project very successfully and at prices that are about 40% higher than we were selling at in the same project in the corresponding period of the last financial year. And our project, Godridge Summit,
Street in Gurgaon has also been an outstanding success and we're seeing great traction on the second phase of that project that we've launched this quarter at a price 25% higher than the price we were selling at just a couple of months ago. So I think in those three major markets, which are the biggest uh, markets in India, we've seen great traction for all our projects, our ongoing projects in Ahmedabad and Calcutta are also seeing good volume. So I think clearly we expect FY 2013 to be by some distance the best ever year for our company from a bookings growth perspective. But Rocha, one of the leading brokerages has said that the reduction in the debt equity ratio for Godrich properties, uh, which we saw in second quarter, is quite unsustainable as projects apart from Gurgaon are low yielding. And TDR payments for BKC projects is, uh, you know, is also likely in the later quarters. How do you see the debt reduction uh, panning out for the company? Aisha, frankly, we're not overly concerned about reducing debt. We have never said that we would like to be a zero debt company. We believe that debt is a perfectly reasonable part of our, our growth strategy. And I think what's important to keep in mind also is that Godrich Properties has the benefit of being able to access debt at very reasonable rates. Our average borrowing cost today is 11.8%. That is perhaps the lowest of any real estate developer in the country, much, much lower uh, than most mid-cap uh, real estate developers. And our gearing level now, we feel, is very comfortable. We have huge inflows over the year that we expect to receive from projects like our Vikroli project. So I don't think, uh, firstly, our debt is something that, that overly concerns us. That said, as I mentioned, we do have several avenues that we think could help us uh, further reduce our debt, including the launch of our BKC project, which, as I mentioned, we expect imminently, uh, including the continued monetization of our Godridge One project, uh, which is going to create a lot of cash flow for the company over the next few quarters, and hopefully the monetization of our less successful commercial portfolio in Kolkata and Chandigarh. So I think those are some of the short-term things that could uh, quite quickly uh, further improve the company's uh, balance sheet. But as I said, we feel very comfortable with where things are currently. Rocha, good chatting with you. Appreciate you taking the time out and joining us this morning. Quickly revisit what the market is up to and it's a nice bump up that you're seeing for the equity markets and uh, it's uh, an advanced decline ratio of 49 is to 1 barring power grid which as well was holding out in the green so we had a 50 to 0 uh, advanced decline ratio. It's been a great breath this morning and a 1% bump up 56.88 is where the